And the question we really have is how can cities shape our future? And that's what City Lab is all about, and it really is an increasingly important uh, question. Uh, today, for the first time in history, a majority of people on Earth live in cities. By mid-century, three-fourths of the world's population are expected to be city dwellers. So think about that for a moment. Uh, when I was growing up in suburban Boston, the suburbs were the future. And the middle class dream was to escape the city with its filth and grime. Uh, by the time I arrived in New York in 1966, cities were decaying. In the 1970s, not only did many people leave cities across the United States, so did most of the manufacturing jobs that had built the middle class. And the question back then wasn't whether cities could be saved. The question was, were they worth saving? And many people really thought, if you go back and read the press, that they weren't. It was the golden age of the suburb, and it defined the second half of the 20th century in the United States and other countries as well. But today, I think we can officially declare that the golden age of the suburb is over, and it has been replaced by a new urban renaissance that is redefining the future. Now, City Lab is our effort to expand and to extend that urban renaissance in new ways to more places, and we certainly aren't waiting for national governments to lead the way because we would be waiting for a very long time. Um, as we all know, here in the United States, if you just contrast what's happening in cities compared to what's happening in Washington, uh, the cities are, people are, are working across party lines, as we're doing today, to solve problems in new creative ways. In Washington, the, partnership, the partisanship has gotten so bad that the two parties can't uh, even agree on how to keep the lights on. And we are uh, pioneering new ideas. Uh, they are paralyzed by dysfunctional politics, and I think the contrast could not be even starker. Uh, the fact is Washington is increasingly unresponsive to the needs of our country, and cities 